getting ready for homecoming so I'm going to be showing you guys a hairstyle the makeup look I would do and also what outfit I would wear if this look is more casual or more dressy than you would usually wear to your homecoming it's completely okay you can modify it to fit whatever attire or whatever like makeup look is suitable for your school nobody really goes to the homecoming dance unfortunately at my school so I don't really have experience with knowing like what's too dressy and what's not and I also didn't want to spend like $200 on a dress I wasn't going to wear also this may be too early for your school I don't really know when everyone's homecomings are but I know around me a lot of people's are coming up soon so I'm just doing it in advance for those people also subscribe if you happen to be new to my channel I upload every Sunday and Thursday and I'd love to have you here a part of my family and with all that being said we're just gonna go ahead and get into the video so first we are starting off with the makeup look which is a smoky eye I am using brushes from Royal and Lane Nickel and I actually have a coupon code for 20% off right here and I'll have them linked down below I'm using the 20 piece kit and I absolutely love them so I'm starting off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer because you'll most likely be taking pictures at homecoming and you want your makeup to last all night. Then I'm using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. It's my absolute favorite and I'm just using a beauty blender to get a more natural finish. And to prime the eyes, I'm using my Benefit Boing Concealer and I'm just going to set it with some translucent powder because I find that this holds the smoky eyes the best rather than using an actual primer. I am also using the crease brush to do the powder. So I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I really like this palette. The colors are beautiful. And I'm taking Whiskey and I'm using this as a transition color. So I'm just working this into the crease. And then I'm going over it with Radar to give it more of a sparkly finish. For Whiskey, I use the crease brush. And then for Radar, I just use the smudger. So then I'm going in with the shade Armor, which is a really pretty glittery color. And I'm using the middle size flat shader brush. And I'm just applying this to my eyelids. I really like it. I think it's a very pretty color. Then with the smudger brush, I am using the Black Market in Dagger Shades, and I'm applying these both into the outer corner and just mixing them. And then to highlight the inner corners, I am using the shade High, which is a really pretty shimmery color. Next, I'm highlighting under my eyes with the Instant Age Rewind Brightener, and I'm kind of swooping this up in a kind of V motion because this is going to kind of clean up all the excess on the side from the eyeshadow and also cover up any glitter that may have fallen off. And then I'm just setting this with the Translucent Powder, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte. So then I'm using the shade Password. I'm doing this on my lower lash line about two three fourths from the outer edge. And then I'm taking the shade Dagger and I'm going from the middle to the outer lower lash line and then Black Market, which is going to be on the very outer lash line. And I'm using a lip brush to do this, which may seem weird, but it's the perfect size. Then I'm lining my eyes with the L'Oreal Linear Intense eyeliner and I'm doing a little bit of mascara. I'm actually doing a lot of mascara. We are really coating this on because big lashes aren't fun to put on. Then I'm just setting all my makeup with the powder brush with that same powder that we used earlier. And then I'm going in with my Anastasia brow pencil and filling in my brows to the desired amount that I'm feeling. And then I'm applying my Hoola bronzer. I love this bronzer and I also really love this angled brush. It's so amazing. It perfectly sculpts your face. It's awesome. And then I'm using my NARS blush in the shade Dolce Vita, which is such, such a pretty color. I love it kind of a mauve pink color. And then lastly, we're just finishing off the lips with the Rimmel Lipstick in 08, which is coming off a lot darker on camera. It's not that dark in person. It's a nice neutral, but that's it for the makeup. You should definitely check out the brushes down below as well. So for hair, I am doing my favorite fishtail updo, which I've showed in a video before, but you guys always ask me how I do this. So I'm starting off with slightly wavy hair to kind of give the braids some texture. I also have a middle part and I'm doing some teasing at the top of my head so the updo has a little bit of volume. And then I'm just fishtailing both sides of my hair. If you don't know how to do this, you basically just take small chunks and move them over to the other side. I'll link a video down below of someone who actually does an in-depth tutorial. Then I just kind of like to loosen up the braids because it gives the updo a more texturized look. Then I pull out some pieces and kind of, you know, mess up the hair so it's not too uniform, it's more messy. And then I just move the pieces across my hair and I bobby pin them and I will pin down the sides in the front because they look kind of weird. Then I will hairspray and that's it. It's super easy and I wear it all the time. It's so pretty. I love it. 
So my dress is from Choi's. I know it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it is so fluttery and pretty and it makes me feel like I'm a princess, so I love it. And then my necklace is from Francesca's and my bangle is from H&M. My gold heels are from DSW. And that is it for the look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely tweet me pictures or Tag me one on Instagram if you happen to try out the makeup look or the hair look in this video. I would love to see it. You should also watch my last video with this guy because he did my everyday makeup routine himself. And it was pretty good. So go check that one out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!